it's currently 6 a.m. I don't even know how I'm up. I woke up at like 5.20. But I guess my brain was just really excited to carve because recently in the last vlog, as you guys saw, I got my supplies back from studio. And then I got a linoleum block. And I am just really excited to carve again. I haven't done this in what? Three months? So for printmaking, you can either transfer the image you want onto the block or you can draw directly onto the block like I'm doing here. I normally like to just draw directly on the block with pencil and then pen. And today I am just drawing another little flower baby because I love my little flower babies. And before I start carving, I always like to sharpen my tools. It makes a really big difference. This piece took around, I would say, 8 to 10 hours to finish carving, and I had so much fun doing it. It was just so therapeutic to just carve. And while I carve, I like to use a pen to go over some pencil lines just to see where I'm uh, carving better. I came back from my boyfriend's place. I was there for like two weeks. I just went grocery shopping because I have no groceries. So I thought I would do a little grocery haul. I have some yogurt, tomatoes, bread, cucumbers, spinach, eggs, lime and plums, green beans, some cookie butter, some peaches, cilantro, bean sprouts, jalapenos, grapes, bell peppers, ham, tofu, and watermelon. I just realized that I wear the same exact t-shirt in every single video and it's just because it's my favorite, comfiest, largest t-shirt. I am currently prepping for a shop update sometime early July I, I want to update my shop. Hopefully the first week of July. I got seven of my stickers printed. So right now I'm just gonna pack them up into little sticker packs. For dinner, I'm just having the salad that I just made with a fried egg and salmon noodles. I'm gonna put the leftovers in the fridge. After I finished my block, I started printing them on rice paper. I also realized that I don't really talk when I do art and that's because I'm always really focused on what I'm doing and I'm also watching other studio vloggers in the background because it makes me feel very zen when I watch other people work. So some of my favorite studio vloggers currently are Paloma the Peach, The Forest Mori, Furry Little Peach, and Cheyenne Barton. Or I'm always listening to music that would definitely get copyrighted in the background. Hand printing takes quite a long time and this print took about 10 to 15 minutes to print for each one just because I was trying to get all the details in. But in the end, I was really satisfied with how it turned out. I created this as an edition of nine, so there's nine hand printed prints, and that's what I spent the afternoon doing. I 
I don't know if you guys can hear the wind, but it's so loud. I currently have an addiction to cookie butter and it's so bad. Here I am creating another little baby and this time she is in cake. This is going to be a tattoo flash and I'm also going to turn it into a sticker. So when I do digital art, I only use Procreate on my iPad. I have an 11 inch iPad Pro, I believe. But yeah, I use Procreate and I only use the HB pencil on there. So this baby girl is in Japanese strawberry shortcake. I also drew one, which you'll see later, of little babies in a hand roll. A few days ago, I also drew a fried egg on toast version. So if you guys have any suggestions for what other food babies to draw, please comment them down below and I would love to read them and draw them. So this is my finished design. So I made these in the morning and I'm gonna be turning them into earrings and painting on them. Looking at Chinese porcelain bases as reference and I'm also watching Jenny's newest video. That's how I'm gonna be spending my night. So these are the designs that I came up with, some clouds, leaves, this um, I have no clue what to call this, nor this, but I think this one is by far my favorite one, the little rivers. Just covering them up with resin right now. I know I look disgusting. I tend to look very crusty when I just and I'm just in all day. But I am gonna work out now. Yesterday I worked out for the first time properly in like two weeks. I kinda took like a two week break from working out because you know how when you work out you get endorphins and you feel really happy? I stopped feeling like that like a month and a half ago. And the more I work out, sometimes it leads to self-destructive eating habits that I tend to have. It's a cycle that's been going on for a while ever since i started working out so this time i took a step back and i was like pause but today i am gonna start working out again because it makes me it still makes me feel good ryan little <laughs> Currently drawing up some tattoo designs. 
This one is of a rose. The tattoo studio is opening up on Monday as part of New York City's phase three plan. I feel like New York is opening up too fast because even though our numbers are decreasing, by opening it up so fast, a second wave might come. But because we are reopening, I start work next week, basically. I will be going to studio four times a week, which makes me a little bit... <laughs> but yeah, my studio planned out pretty well how we're going to go about with this whole tattooing thing and COVID at the same time. So I'm just going to read it out loud. Artist stations are going to be six feet apart. We aren't doing walk-ins. We're doing everything by appointment only. A mask is required for entering the studio at all times and also being in the studio. You have to wear a mask. For everyone that's not wearing a mask when they go out, why? Please, please. For the sake of other people and yourself, wear a mask. A body temperature check will be conducted to everyone that enters the studio. Everyone must sanitize and wash their hands when they are in the studio. I'm gonna be making tofu stir fry for dinner. So I have my cilantro, onion, jalapeno, bean sprouts, bell peppers, and my tofu. Time to eat. Decide which size I like. Bigger or smaller? Maybe the smaller one. I have no clue how I keep waking up at 5.30 in the morning. I just want to wake up at 9, 8 one day. So these are the little sticker packs that I made. I think this one is my favorite one. Gonna watch Michelle's new vlog while I eat. <gasps> Back to my favorite place on earth, the bed. <laughs> uh, I just feel like I'm Jasmine, but I look just like Joey. Okay. Joey's gonna see himself. Oh, I'm Jasmine, but I look just like you.
My friend mailed me a letter and it's so cute. I am not drunk. Oh my god, one time, I didn't know that I was allergic to like the fuzz on the peach skin. So I ate a peach with the skin on, even though I washed it a lot. This was like back in senior year and I remember my stomach hurting so bad and I couldn't breathe and I was just on the toilet. Kind of sour. This is my dessert. I made these little thank you cards that I'm gonna print out, cut, and place with every order. Now if only I can figure out what is going on here. I should probably learn how to use Illustrator. I'm just so used to Photoshop. Nice! <laughs> so this is the original sketch and this is the printed out version. I'm gonna carve these out and use them as little stamps because I realized that when I use stickers for packaging, it's probably, it definitely is very wasteful. Yesterday, I made these two really tiny stamps out of one block that I don't need anymore from printmaking. This is the packaging for the stickers. I just used these two stamps here, but I'm almost done. I'll finish packing these later. For now, I'm just gonna carve this. Let's test these out! This is the little box that I'm going to be shipping the earring in just so nothing gets broken. So I'm going to decorate these boxes. I don't want to say too much Got a lot of feelings, scared that I might mess it up I'ma always keep it honest like a hundred bucks I'ma be there by your side, girl, no matter what I'm not like those other guys you knew before Pull up to the spot, you know I open doors I won't ever blame you cause you're innocent I'll show you what your future is We could drive straight to the beach, put your feet on my dashboard I'ma bring some roses, anything that you ask for So this is the mess that happens every time I use this table. When I move, I'm definitely gonna be getting a bigger table, but I'm gonna I'm gonna clean it now. I got way too many for you to come. I'm saying I'm good at solving them. I will never let it get between you and I. Things that do for you, you my Gemini. I'm just trying to be a Leo for you there like every night. It looks kind of ugly, but it tastes good. So I have my little setup here with my mic and my laptop. I am in the middle of recording a podcast, which should be up by the time that you're watching this. I just wanted to quickly say that this video was sponsored by Skillshare. So thank you to Skillshare for working with me again. I've been working with them a lot the past few months. But if you guys don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is an online learning community filled with thousands of inspiring classes for creative individuals. You can use Skillshare to explore new skills, develop already existing interests, and just get lost in creativity. So the class that I chose is called Podcasting Secrets, How to Start Your Own Podcast, and it's taught by Michaela Matthews Acombe. She's a podcast coach and host and the owner of Side Hustle Pro Podcast. So in this class, she teaches you how to refine your topic, how to record, edit, and publish your own podcast, and how to attract your target listener. If you're uncertain about what's next, because I know that everyone, including myself, we're in a very 
confused area. Creative challenges and productivity classes can be a great way to help you structure your time and set up achievable goals. So if you choose a drawing class, a writing class, or a journaling class, that can be a great way for you to de-stress and to practice your mindfulness and feel connected to one another. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. You can connect with so much other creative people and you can enter a world of encouragement, inspiration, and communication. So if you're just looking for a way to fend off boredom, or you want to join a similar creative community, or focus on self-care through creativity, Skillshare is the perfect place for you. So Skillshare is giving away two free months of premium membership to the first 1,000 people that click the link in my description box, which you can find below. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. So if you're interested, don't forget to check out down below. And yeah, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And let's get back on with the vlog. You know what time it is? It is face mask time because I haven't been nice to my skin for like the past two weeks. I haven't applied moisturizer in like two weeks. So gonna gonna treat her better today. Uh-huh. Oh, it feels so good. So the tattoo studio is going to reopen next week. I'm going to studio right now to, to meet up with all the other artists just so everyone is on the same page when the shop reopens. And this is going to be my first time taking the subway in like three, three and a half months. My little shishi boy hand roll is actually inspired by this piece that I did back in senior year for my college portfolio. It is this little this little hand roll here and the shishi boys that I made last time it is these babies right here. So everything is on the ground because I have no table space but I'll just show you guys what's in this shop update. So this print from last time along with these prints. And I also added in this print. And then this one. These are my hand printed woodcuts. There's nine of these. And then the sticker packs that I packaged. And then I'm also selling a few separate ones by themselves. And finally, the earrings. Oh, and also, I done my hair back to a dark brown. This is very, very dark brown. I had some dye laying around, so I just dyed it. And I was just so tired of my green. And then when I did the silver bangs thing in my last video, it looked good with heavy makeup. But I don't like wearing heavy makeup. I like to wear like little to none makeup. When you have very light bleached hair, it just looks weird with no makeup. So I was just like, you know what? I've been rude enough to my hair. This is, we're done. We're done. But as for the shop, I'm still making a few more little packaging stamps. I felt really bad that I didn't personalize the orders that I sent out last time because I really like to like make cute packaging and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for this time. By the time you're watching this, the shop should have been updated. I will link it in my description box. A quick little update. So my shop went live this morning and I am really surprised because everything is almost sold out and I never expected this to happen. Thank you so, so much. I'm really shocked. <laughs> There are still a few prints up on the shop that are still available, hopefully by the time you see this. I'm hoping to update some stuff within the shop within the next 
one to two weeks for those that were able to get anything this time. I'm gonna be restocking the errands. I'm gonna create a few more versions. I might, depending on my time, I might restock the stickers and the prints. I'm just really busy right now because the studio is opening up again, so I have to manage that. And I am also in the process of apartment hunting. Yeah, it's trouble. Just a little update. And thank you so much to everyone that watches my videos. I am so grateful for all of you and I wouldn't be here without you guys. This is gonna be the end of the vlog. And again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye. Boop. Too hot today. Ooh. I only have lipstick on right now and I don't look weird at all.